the 38th lecture of this lecture series on international arbitration practice this lecture is a part of chapter 3 on responding to invocation of arbitration and defenses in relation thereto in the last lecture we discussed defense arguments regarding the scope of a treaty in this lecture we deal with the defenses on extent to prescription acquiescence and abuse of right jorge e vinuales paper on defense arguments in investment arbitration published in 18 exed report 2021 is an important work from the perspective of states because there are hardly any writings from the perspective of the states in international investment law and this is one such work this table in front of you is derived from this paper and is important because it provides an idea as to how and when states could deploy a defense so this table must find its place on the display board of every lawyer in international investment arbitration for your convenience a link to the pdf of this table is provided in the description to this video this table describes whether a defense could be deployed in the jurisdiction admissibility liability and quantum stages some defense such as the clean hands doctrine estoppel illegality could be deployed in all the four stages we will discuss certain defenses in this lecture we have already discussed international public policy as a defense in the previous lecture the link to the last lecture is also provided in the description to this video for the defense of acquiescence to be deployed there should be a tacit recognition manifested by unilateral conduct which the other party may interpret as consent the burden of proof is on the party alleging acquiescence this defense has played considerable role in territorial disputes where it has produced two distinct effects one it affects the subjective rights of the acquiescing party and two it may have an indirect effect in the customary norm creating process as regards the first effect article 45b of the draft articles on the responsibility of states for internationally wrongful acts popularly called as arciva states the responsibility of a state may not be invoked if b the injured state is to be considered as having by reason of its conduct validly acquiesced in the lapse of the claim as regards the second effect the absence of protest against a breach by the F breach by the other party may indicate opinion juris of that state which is the subjective opinion of the state more on this in the context of international law generally see atn henry alleged acquiescence of the international community to revisionist claims of internationally customary law with special re, special reference to the use contra bellum regime published in the melbourne journal of international law in 2017 next is the defense of extinct to prescription this defense constitutes a part of general principles of international law under article 381c of the icj statute a treaty may provide that a claim may be brought within a specific period if no such period is prescribed the adjudicator could decide if the claims became stale ingredients for applying this are one an unreasonable delay in the presentation of the claim should have been there without a valid justification and two and most importantly the delay must have placed the respondent at a disadvantage in defending itself in uabe Ener energija lithuania versus republic of latvia the award dated 22 december 2017 noted that the respondent deployed this defense at the jurisdiction stage itself and that the claimant had agreed that it was a valid defense generally not in this case although subject to the satisfaction of the tribunal that the delay led to the disadvantage to the respondent the tribunal in this case agreed with the claimant and rejected the defense the next defense is that of the abuse of right or abuse de droit this is an extension of the principle of good faith a typical example in the investor state dispute context 
is the investor who structures his corporations so as to take benefit of a particular treaty this is an extension of the principle of good faith a typical example in the investor state dispute context is the investor who structures his corporation so as to take benefit of a particular treaty there are two ways in which this defense is treated first if the invest is investment is made abusively it is considered as no investment and this force excludes jurisdiction to illustrate in phoenix versus czech republic in an award dated 15 april 2009 the tribunal held in para 93 the exit convention or bat system is not deemed to protect economic transactions undertaken and performed with the sole purpose of taking advantage of the rights contained in such instruments without any significant economic activity which is the fundamental prerequisite of any investors protection such transactions must be considered as an abuse of the system the tribunal is of the view that if the sole purpose of an economic transaction is to pursue an exit claim without any intent to perform any economic activity in the host country such transaction cannot be considered as a protected investment the second way in which this defense operates is that even if it is considered as an investment still the tribunal decides that such an investment does not deserve any protection under the treaty thereby resulting in an inadmissible claim this is provided in philip morris asia versus australia in the award on jurisdiction and admissibility dated 17 december 2015 this case also laid down the ingredients of the defense of abuse of right which are the following an objective test in that intent to abuse is established by the behavior and not by a subjective search of bad faith in the relevant corporate officers an invest investor that is not protected by an investment treaty restructures its investment in order to fall within the scope of protection of a treaty time when such dispute is foreseeable the respondent it may be noted has to establish that the restructuring was to benefit from a treaty in the philip morris case the claimant was unable to prove that they derived any business or other benefit from the restructuring okay note that the intent here and in the previous lectures is not to discuss the jurisprudence relating to these defenses in great detail but to give a flavor of these defenses so that these defenses could be used or deployed in appropriate cases by states more on the defenses in the next lecture take care and stay safe